Hi everyone, this is Mr. Fred from GetMeCoding.com and this tutorial we're going to go through how to quickly build out a web page and begin to learn some of the pieces with Dreamweaver CC and this is going to be 2018 even though it's 2019 when we're doing this video. Okay, so let's go. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to already have Dreamweaver installed. So if you haven't downloaded the 30-day free trial take a look at the link provided and you can grab that and bring it into your PC and then get running. If you've already downloaded and installed it you should have gone through the setup windows that asked you what you want to do to get your environment set up and eventually land you at this point where you're building a new site here in a moment. Okay so when you're beginning your build your first site you're gonna come in and just set up a few quick things. Now once again this is one of those professional level tools like a lot of software tools that are out there that are going to give you a bunch of different options but I'm going to go ahead and just name this test site for now and it's going to be saved on my machine here um, in a local storage drive okay so then I'll click on save now once that does that it's going to come in you can also go back there and set up FTP servers for file transfer you could do a lot of neat things like that but we're gonna we're gonna kinda move along from that right now now once we come in we're going to be now seeing a place where we're going to create our first um, document. So let's go ahead and create a HTML document and we'll select that and it's going to begin to bring us into here. Now once we come in here after clicking that it, I have it set to come into looking at the split view. Now when you come into Dreamweaver there's several ways you can look at your your setup or your code and you can look at a split view where down here you see your HTML and up in the top area you could see what's called the WYSIWYG view or the what you see is what you get view. Now you could also come up here a little bit later on if you don't like this particular look you could switch over to a developer look or keep it at the standard look however you think is most I guess comfortable for you to view and also to work in. Now because this is a quick tutorial we're going to come in here we're going to make use of the panel over here on the right and we're going to click on insert which is going to give us a series of objects or components that you can easily and quickly place into your web page. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a header and as we click on the header you'll notice that it places itself down here in the HTML and it's between the body tags the opening body tag and the closing body tag that's known as a container and now it also appears with the header and I can come up here in the viewing area where I could do a direct edit and I can begin typing whatever I like now I'm gonna come down here in the code and I'm gonna just make the change this is our new website thanks for visiting and as you can see, as I type, whoops, <laughs> thanks for visiting. As you can see, as I type, it appears up here in the upper area or the live view. So that's one of the great features about Dreamweaver is you can work on that and kind of go along a little bit further. Now, one of the quick and easy ways you could begin to edit this is if I come into this particular piece of content, this, this header, I could highlight it and then go over to my insert panel and select on heading. And I could select one of the H1 through H6 heading tags. These are different sizes of, of text so we're gonna say H2 and that's gonna bump up the size of our text right there live and you'll also notice now that it gets added to this inspector that's right below the text that you put in there. Okay so that's a real simple way you can begin to adding the HTML right there in your page and you can see the basic build out. Now for the most part when you're starting to control the look and the feel of a web page you're going to make use of the cascading style sheets or CSS. Now this video is not going into great depth get depths over what CSS is however you can start to see how easy it is to work with in Dreamweaver. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the text that we're going to work with and we're going to start to change it up a little bit and we're going to come in here and we are going to create a CSS file. Now there's three ways you can typically associate CSS with HTML. You can do embedded, inline, or linked. So we're going to create a file that's going to be linked and we're going to begin doing that by creating a little bit of CSS and we're going to call it heading. And now when we come in here we're going to say create a new CSS file. That's going to start to prompt us for creating a file and we're going to have to set certain things up here. So we're going to come in now, we're going to create our file, we're going to click browse and I'm going to give it a file name and I'll call it site style. 
and it's going to be saved as a .css, which is cascading style sheet, and I'm going to click Save. Now once I click Save, it's going to make sure that we want to also save the file um, so it understands where it's located. We're going to click OK. Now it's linked, and we're off and running. So what we've done is we've created an ID. This is a, a, it's a little bit of CSS, and you can see it right here. It says ID equals heading. So we've created a CSS ID as opposed to creating a class, which we can get into in another video tutorial. So now we're moving along, and I just want you to start to notice, though, also here in the HTML, we have this line of code. It's looking for or linking to a style, a site style that we created, .css, and it's of type text forward slash CSS. Once again, not going into great detail here for what the, this all means, but you start to get a sense of how easy it is to build this out. The next part is to begin to make the CSS that's going to control the look. So right now we have black text that's kind of a big font on top of a white background. Not a lot of fun, pretty boring. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our CSS designer over here in the panels and we're going to create a new selector. When we create our new selector, we could already see that it's going to be applied to the, um, the ID that we created called header. As I'm in here with the designer, I'm going to now apply some of the properties to my CSS. So I'm going to uncheck this block so I could start to see my options and I get to see all the different attributes that I could begin to apply to this particular CSS ID. So this is working out pretty good and I can come in here and change all sorts of items within this. So just for demonstration purposes I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change the font family so it has a default here. I'm going to click on this box and I have a whole bunch of fonts in here and I'm going to go with the Let's see this. Um, let's go with this set here. And now you can see the font type has faced, or the font face has changed. And I could even come in here and, multi and, and change up the colors. And using this color picker, I could begin to apply uh, different color schemes. So it makes it red. Now, nothing is really changing in here inside of the HTML document. Where is it being changed? It's being changed in this linked site style.css file. So what you start to see is that whenever you want to have site-wide changes, instead of going through each web page to make these changes in your HTML, you'll do it in one spot in the site style CSS file or whatever your CSS file is called and that cascades throughout it. Hence the name CSS cascading style sheets. It moves all the way through your site. So as you gain more comfort and more experience with working with HTML and CSS, there are things you could do at almost any level. At the very high level, you could edit in the live view and so on. But I'm going to come in here now and I'm going to expand out this, this area so you could see a quick edit. Now when we want to start editing directly and quickly, there's some other features that Dreamweaver also provides you. So if I come in here now and I want to change the CSS that's directly attached to a specific tag or element that I'm building, I could come in here and I could right click on this item and I could say quick edit. That'll kick open a little window here that'll start to show the CSS right here that's associated with this. There's the font face that we picked and there's the color that we set. The color is set in hexadecimal value and the hexadecimal color charts are out there. You can, as you hover over, it'll actually show you what the color is, but you can go on the web and Google hexadecimal color charts. Now I'm going to continue to add, I want to be able to center this particular text since it's left justified. I could do that with CSS and if I come in here now, I am working within the squiggly brackets here and I'm going to come down, I'm going to do a carriage return and I'm going to say text and it starts to give me some quick code hints so if I'm not familiar with it which sometimes I'm rusty I'll say text align and then it's gonna ask me what do I want to pick I'll click center and then I terminate it with a semicolon and now you can see my text jump to the center of my HTML page and once you're done doing that editing there you could just close that out and it'll it'll be applied to your page one of the great features about this tool is not only does it help you quickly build a web page or a website, it is a great teaching tool. So as you're learning the elements, which there's so many of them, if you take your mouse and you right click on the header there and then select Quick Docs, it's going to open up a little explanation. So it's almost like an online help editor. So you don't have to go out there Googling things or whatnot. It's right there. It explains what it is. And if you want to read more, you can click the link. So that's a really helpful learning feature. So now just so that you could see how easy it is to work in this, I'm going to switch over to the, uh, to the live view and I'm going to work in here 
as I had already begun before, and I'm going to start to lay certain things out. Okay, so when I begin to go back to the live view here, one of the things you start to learn is that when you lay out your web page, you're going to be working in containers. There's two types of containers we work, typically work with, and it's either the div tag or even the p tag, or known as the paragraph tag. And I'm going to just kind of show you some simple things that we could begin to do here. So I'm going to go to the insert panel, and I'm going to select paragraph. It's asking me where I want this to appear now. I could have it appear before my current item or after or wrap it or nested and so on. So I'm going to say after it and it starts to appear down below and I can come in here. I could highlight the items and say, okay, so I'm going to come in here now and I'm going to double click my item here and it's going to allow me to edit it. I can highlight it. Please feel free to view our page. And I could do text like that and if I want to now add in maybe an image I can click here I could add image I'm gonna make that after the item also and it's gonna to want to know what the image is so I don't really have too many things here but I'm gonna say it's gonna be this logo even though that's not where I would put a logo I'll put that on there and it's gonna now appear on the page and everything starts to get built out if I select that item I can come down here to the properties inspector and I could start to get other information about it and I could even apply other uh, values to these attributes. So the height, H, the width can also be changed and it's um, different ways we can do some, you know, editing of our imagery that are on the page. So with that being said, that's a real quick and down and dirty, real fast overview of putting things together, building a little CSS and making a web page. And of course, last but not least, you'll always want to go up to file, save which will then prompt you to save your file it's going to be an html file we'll give it a name and we'll call it um, demo one and then click save so now you can see the, na the name of the file appears there some html is in there and so on if you want to go back and look at the source code source code you can click on code and you can see everything is, is aligned there once again i can come right in here and i could even give the title of my page i'll say demo one I can make the editing right in there, or I can go back to the split view and make some changes there. So once again, this is really, really quick. I want you to look for um, some other classes that I'll be creating that'll be available, that you'll be walking through the whole process of using Dreamweaver to really build a very cool site. Okay, that's all I have for now. I hope you really enjoyed that, because now you're a little bit smarter and you know a little bit more about a really, really professional, powerful tool.